We are here in Annapolis. And yes, we will be on a boat show. So see us on a boat show. Come and visit us. But that's not what we're going to talk today about. We're going to talk about that little dude over there, the Starlink. And it changed our life. rubber seal on huh. so hopefully this is super waterproof and then see this one has a little bit it's definitely the same size as USB-C so here's a USB-C so it's the same size sure is USB-C cable, it's just like that. Also with the seal. Look at that. And just to be sure, I checked. It is 240 volts, 110 to 240, 50 hertz to 60 hertz. So it can do both. And the adapter. So this we can put into our side. Just need to do this. Look at that. Oh, the dish should start doing things. It's now, oh, oh, there we go. It's looking now for a, <laughs> for a different satellite. Wee, it's a jet. <laughs> so Pietro is working on our new logo for our t-shirts. Oh, she has a t-shirt thingy on. Look at this. Let me first show you this. <laughs> Check this out. This is the, our new logo thingy. Huh? This is going to be epic. And that's for the Annapolis Boat Show. And I've been working on, on the Boat Check app. Something went wrong. I upgraded so much. So I need now to look at samples and start from scratch. So, Starlink. There it is. Starlink. Set up so this is our, as easy as this. You customize your Wi Fi stick, and then you just click finish, and that is that's how you set it up as easy as that. So now we need to go to our Wi Fi and it will show up here. There we go. Connecting. Unexpected location. Hmm. So I left it not even for half an hour and just check this. It says online. Statistics. <laughs> it was already online for for a while now. <laughs> I didn't know that. So we just switch on the the Starlink. I just put it here in a in a our fishing rod holder, and we're going to test it out. We're still very close to shore. There is Fort Lauderdale, so it should pick up something. But it automatically corrected itself and then went flat. So it's actually pretty cute. 
So we tried in the Bahamas, it did not work. Uh, check this out. I put it here on a fishing rod. That's a, that's a starling dishy. So it's not shading the... And you can see we are moving. It's not shading the solar panels. And I put it there and hope for the best. The Bahamas is still there. So we're just, just outside the Bahamas range. Check this out. We are online and the Starlink is working. First one download, 20 upload. That's actually bloody impressive. Look at that. <laughs> I'm happy. So we're up here in the Gulf, so it's not that we are standing still. No. We are bouncing around a little bit here in the Gulf Stream. We're not in the Gulf Stream, Gulf Stream, but there's also no wind. But it's working! We are about 75 miles, nautical miles, off the coast of, of the US. Florida North, I would say. And the Starlink is still working. I can see some outages coming now more frequently, but we can still have good internet, we still download the weather and it's way, way faster than Iridium. So, oh. Yeah, we are definitely underway and rolling. We are not doing too bad and we're outside of the Gulf Stream now. You can see our speed over ground. And the speed through water is more or less the same. The code D is up. And it's only the code D. And we have got the bungee cords over there. So they are doing their thing with the code D. And over there. Right there, that's our Starlink. And we have much more better and faster internet than we had while we in any other country. And if you can look here, that is a 15 nautical mile range ring, that is 100 nautical mile range ring. So we are for sure around 100 nautical miles from the Florida coast. So that's Florida. Maybe we're not anymore in Florida, but yeah, we're off the coast for sure. So the Starlink is, is doing its thing, but look here. Petr is having a video call. Imagine that yeah. video call, hundred nautical miles off the coast, with her, with her daughter in New Zealand. In New Zealand, all the way. I am so jumped. So I can speak to my baby, my little baby Livy. She's uh, two and a half months old. I can wave. Speak. Ooh. <laughs> you on, you on YouTube? <laughs> it's my little baby. I can speak to her every single day. <laughs> yeah, even under um, miles off the coast. Yeah, hello, Oma. And over here we have got some. Good. Ooh, gravy going. It's going oh to be a nice, a very nice. Stew. Okay, let me switch on the music again. And this is bye bye for you. It's just incredible. Check this out. I'm busy downloading a new chart. And we're getting constantly 100 and what's it? 144, 150 megabytes. And that's maybe now an outage. So I'm looking even here. Just check the amazing speeds that you get. You can see the outages even with a couple of oh, sorry. And you can see even with outages with a couple of out outages, we're still maintaining this high speed. It's just 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 incredible. Look at that now. 166 download and 5 meg upload. 
hundred and yes, hundred and fifty, two hundred. So that just saved our asses because when we arrive there, we will not know. We will need to use Navionics in our phones because that is up to date to navigate all those tricky waters there. But if we can do it on a on the Raymarine, then it is part of the boat instruments. <laughs> so thank you, Elon, saving us here, and it's faster than on land. <laughs> it's just crazy. So address is just over there, and our. Starling just died and we're around 500 miles from where, where it started up and we, it gave us for 500 miles some connection, a very good connection, but maybe it's the clouds because that side is still a lot of lightning, it's still a lot of rain, so it doesn't get through. So let's see if we can revive it. <coughs> I'm going to stow it and reboot it and do all sorts of things but let's see starling died on us it's now almost like a, oh, almost 12 hours that we don't receive anything and just standing static but we just see this we've got the starling in fort Lauderdale. Then we went to the Bahamas and from the Bahamas we went all the way up to Rhode Island where we checked into the US and then we went up all the way to Maine and in the Bahamas when we entered those polygons, the dark blue polygons that says coming soon on the Starlink map, I will put the link down below, you cannot get any, well at that moment <laughs> we couldn't find any signal so the moment you enter one of those polygons you lose the signal or they just block it. I, I'm sure there's a signal, but they, they just block it. I think the moment I've got some deals going on with the Bahamas government, then that will enable it and you will be able to receive it there as well. There is rumors that it's working at this moment. But yeah, so we got it. That's the only place that we picked up. It didn't work. We were off Hatteras and then there was electrical storm and we lost signal over there. But Overall, we had, in the past, we had to use the phone. So we will get, I've got the eSIM card, so with the eSIM I will then, if I know I'm going to go to the Bahamas and I'm in the US, then I will buy an eSIM package for the Bahamas. So when we arrived in the Bahamas, we can at least tell our family and friends that we arrived there safely. One of the, the, the tips, so the guys uh, are giving you is that you need to cut the hole somewhere there and then disable the motors and it will just go into a static mode you can just keep it static and you will you will have internet and honestly don't do that if you at anchor you swing all the time so depending on the wind of course and like here when there's no wind it's a current that's determining whether you swing or not then what we do is it will lose the internet and it will lose it even if it's upright as well and maybe you're happy with that but let me tell you how we work when you do lose internet what we normally do is you just go to settings and then we say over here you just say stow and that's it now it's stowed so what i do then is i just unplug it and Recycle the power basically recycle the power it will boot up and sometimes if it doesn't find in the, <laughs> like now Coincidentally, it just found found the, the satellite in that position But if it doesn't it will go horizontal and then look for the path and sometimes at the horizontal place it will find it and Stay like that if not it will readjust and it will turn to wherever the best line of sight is I think it will need to change because the boom is in the way so, and the mast uh, so I'm sure it will need to readjust it very shortly let me see wow. it actually when you go to statistics on it, it this is a much better signal that we had <laughs> than when I started this hmm okay 
so that's fine. And this is why we didn't cut the motors, because if we had anchor and we do swing, we can just restart, we stow it, we restart it, and I think he thinks you know at a new place. So it starts to look for the satellites, the GPS is kicking in and everything, and then off you go. You've got a, got a new satellite. I can see now there's a drop. So let us see is that one, if you might think he needs to readjust. Oh, there he goes. See? If you didn't add the motor, you would have had an outage every four minutes or something. Look, it turns. <laughs> it found the right place and very happy of that. And don't cut the motors. So that is, that is the only thing that you have to do. So the moment you we swing on anchor, put it in stow mode, recycle the power, it finds the new, new satellite lines and you've got very good internet again. ESIMs are very expensive. So ESIM is only basically just to be able to enter the country. If you're in a customs, you need to do stuff, you can do it. So that's why we do the ESIM and we buy just maybe five gigs or sometimes even just one gig until we can get to land. We can get the local eSIM, a uh, local SIM card, and then load it with data, and then we're fine. But here in America, I've got T-Mobile, and I must say many times, especially there up in Maine, um, there's some of those islands that are just way too remote for any, any T-Mobile service. And then what we had to do was um, rely on Starlink. So for the first time, we had better internet on Sisu than we had anywhere in the world. And I've been working for United Nations as well. Even in the UN, we didn't have as good internet as we have on Sisu with the Starlink. And the Starlink just changed it completely. So we, we know that people want to get away from the hustle and bustle, but remember, this is our home. We live here and, and, and we have YouTube channels and we need to do social media. Our family and friends, they want to know about us, so we can now do video calls over that. And it just changed the game completely. 